going to be one that you guys have been waiting for and requesting constantly ever since I announced that I was pregnant and that is how I found out and told people. To start off, I guess I'll start with the fact that I got off birth control, I want to say like in February? So a few months ago, I don't know. And what we had been doing to prevent pregnancy, which clearly we were not very good at, um, we were doing the natural family planning method. And if you've never heard of that, pretty much what it is, is you track your ovulation and you just avoid having sex or avoid having sperm go into your vag when you are in your fertile window. Um, sorry, this video is going to be kind of TMI, like, pregnancy videos are always TMI, so, yeah. But, um, so what I was doing was I was using an app where I could track my period and track my ovulation, and the app that I have always used is Clue. I've used it for a while now. Um, I even used it back when I was on birth control just because it can predict a lot of things such as your PMS, stuff like that, like crazy things. The more you use the app, the more it gets to know you. So I was using that app and um, that's actually one of the things that helped me find out I was pregnant. So I actually reached out to Clue and we partnered up for this video. So thank you Clue for being a part of this video. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about the app really quick. Since I'm pregnant, this is gonna look a little bit weird and you, my screen is like dirty. But as you can see, um, this is my cycle. This circle is my cycle and I'm on day 87 because I'm obviously pregnant now. So um, it's not really tracking my period anymore. I have not documented my period or anything. Um, but you can see here that it has my fertile window and then these little dots right here and right here are information that I put in such as my symptoms, um, like let me just show you guys. So, uh, for your period you can put in your bleeding, stuff like that, um, you can do your cramps, you can do your emotions, you can do literally so many things on here. Um, your sleep, like everything. So you put everything in there, um, document as much things as you want, and the more that you put in, the more accurate it will be the next month, um, and so on and so forth. So basically, what had happened was, I had been using this app to track my ovulation, and when it said I was getting close to my fertile window, I would take an ovulation test and I would take them until they turned positive or started to turn positive is when we would start being careful um, and the app was always very accurate um, because I had been logging my ovulation symptoms and everything like that. We knew that if I were to get pregnant that it wouldn't be a problem and we would be happy. We are responsible enough to have a child, so we weren't too worried about it. Um, but yeah, that's what we were doing to attempt to prevent. I will get into what had happened, how I did get pregnant, and it's actually crazy, so yeah. But if you guys are interested in the Clue app, I will have it linked in the description down below. You can get it for Android or iOS, so yes. This month that I was tracking my ovulation, I noticed that my tests were not positive and not becoming positive when they were supposed to be. Um, so my ovulation was a little off this month, or a lot off, which I didn't really understand. I thought maybe I just wasn't going to ovulate that month. So I was taking tests and they were all negative. They were not getting darker. Um, and I never ended up getting a positive. So once I got to around the time that my period was supposed to come, I want to say a few days before my period, I just stopped taking them because I was like, you know what, even if I ovulated right before my period, I wouldn't be able to get pregnant because my luteal phase wouldn't be long enough for me to get pregnant. You know, does that make sense? So that was my thought process. Uh, that month, I totally just figured I didn't ovulate. Like, 
totally just was like, okay, I didn't ovulate this month. Like, that's fine. My body's probably still trying to get used to not being on birth control because I had been on it for so long, literally since like ninth grade. And uh, I had switched my brand of pill before I moved. And I was just having the worst side effects. I've always had bad side effects from birth control. And I've just kind of lived with it. I'm just feeling like crap all the time and just having horrible periods because birth control made my periods way worse, uh, which it's supposed to do the opposite, but it didn't. It made them way longer, way heavier, and it sucked. This month that I found out I was pregnant, I was just ready for my period to come, you know? I was like, I didn't ovulate this month. Like, my period is going to come in the next few days. And uh, I kind of lost track of time. And... I like checked the Clue app and my period was eight days late, which I've had it be late before. The month before my period was I think six days late, so I still didn't think anything of it. I was like, okay, well my period's just becoming more irregular now that I'm not on birth control. And so Alex had been joking around with me like, oh, the baby and like, oh, you're pregnant. Like, that's why you're so tired because my only symptom was that I was very tired. Um, that whole week that I was supposed to get my period, I was exhausted. I really didn't think anything of it. Like when he was joking about it, I was like, huh, like I'm definitely not pregnant. I didn't even ovulate. Like, what are you talking about? And I didn't even have that feeling that some people say they get, like, I just knew I was pregnant. I did not have that. I did not know at all whatsoever. I was clueless. Even with the app Clue, I was clueless, okay? When I saw my period was eight days late, that day, it was a Sunday, and I just remember we had planned, Alex and I, to barbecue at the pool and drink margaritas. We had gone shopping the night before, bought a bunch of margaritas, and, like, corona and stuff like that and we were gonna go barbecue and drink and like swim so uh yeah that was the plan and when I saw my period was eight days late I just felt this feeling like I needed to be responsible and take a test just in case because even though I was like sure I didn't ovulate I knew that there's always a chance um anything can happen when you're having sex so I told Alex, like, hey, I think I'm going to take a test before we, like, drink and stuff today just because now that my period's eight days late, I just have a feeling that that's the right thing to do. I need to take a test. And also, I was seriously thought my period was going to come. Like, I had cramps. I was, like, cramping. I was moody. I was tired. I seriously felt like my period was going to come at any moment. Even the day that I was going to take the test, like, as we were getting ready to go get coffee and, like, get a test... I was like so crampy and I had that feeling where it just feels like you're gonna start bleeding, you know? So we went to Starbucks and Alex was in the drive-thru getting me tea and he was getting his coffee and I got out of the car and I walked um, across the parking lot to grab a test while he was waiting in line to get Starbucks. I just grabbed the test, I grabbed like first response and checked out, went back to the car. I wasn't nervous whatsoever, I really was sure it was going to be negative because I didn't ovulate, right? I didn't ovulate. So I'm not even nervous, not even thinking about it and we get back to the apartment and I went pee. I had to pee so bad, mind you, but I knew you're supposed to pee like first morning urine. So I was holding my pee and I had to go so bad. So we get home, I run in the bathroom and I pee on the test. I set it on the counter. I don't even look at it because I'm just like, it's going to be negative, you know? So I was like, okay, I'll just check it in a few minutes. I went in the bedroom. I changed. I went into the kitchen and drank a little bit of my tea and I had also gotten a bagel. So I took a bite of my bagel and then I remembered the test and I was like, oh, I'm going to go check the test really quick. So I go in the bathroom thinking nothing of it. Like I'm just expecting to see one line on the test, right? So I walk in the bathroom and I have a mouthful of bagel. I look at the test and I don't even have to get close to it and I see two lines on the test and I can't even describe to you 
the amount of shook that I was, okay? I see the test and instantly every emotion possible just like raged through my whole body. Like I was in so much shock. I couldn't even chew my bagel. I spit my bagel into my hand and Alex was like standing in the doorway of the bathroom looking at me and I just like spit my bagel out and looked at him like and he knew instantly like he knew I was pregnant and he really thought I was in the beginning anyways like when he was joking about it he really thought I was so I don't know I had no idea he knew more than I did um and I seriously was just staring at that test for like ever an eternity I was just staring at it and I was like how is there two lines? Like, there's two lines on this test. And I was just beyond shocked. I never in a million years would have thought that it would be positive. Um, so, anyways, I was in denial. I was like, okay, like, the line is still, like, kind of faint. Like, it's there. And I know, I'm not stupid, okay? I know that if there's any kind of line, even if it's faint, it's positive. But in my mind, I'm like, my period is eight days late. The line should be darker by now, you know? So I tell Alex, like, we need to go to the store and get a digital. I need to see the word pregnant. Like, this isn't real. Like, I need to see the word for it to, like, convince me, you know? So we go back to the store. I get a digital, a clear blue. And I pee on that test. And... <laughs> I'm looking at the bars going across and I'm joking with Alex like what if it says not pregnant though like what if the other test was just like I was like what if this test was faulty and like this test is not pregnant like I don't know I was just joking around and as I was joking around the word pregnant just popped up on the screen like those tests usually take forever because I've been with friends like taking that test and it takes an eternity but Mine barely took any time at all and the word pregnant just popped up and I was like <gasps> when I saw the word it just made it 10 times more real and I was like oh my gosh like I couldn't stop saying oh my gosh I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh I was like freaking out I was shaking <laughs> and Alex was just like so chill about it like he was like yeah like you're pregnant I told you like he didn't, he wasn't even shocked. I was in so much shock. So immediately I'm like, okay, like I'm pregnant. There's a baby in there, like we're gonna be parents. And I just kept saying stuff like that out loud. Like I was like, I'm gonna be a mom, like we're gonna be parents. Like <laughs> I had to keep like saying it over and over because it was not registering in my mind. Immediately I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, I need to call my mom. Like, first thing that I wanted to do was call my mom. So I call my mom and I'm like, hey, <laughs> I'm pregnant. And my mom was like super excited. She was like, no way. And I sent her a picture of both the tests and she was just super excited. And Alex then called his grandma. She was excited. And he called his mom. She was excited. And he called his dad. He was excited, which we were both scared to tell our dads. And they both had a very good reaction. I really thought that, like, my dad would be disappointed and stuff because I'm not, like, married or anything. But his response to me saying that was, it's 2017, like, nobody cares. Like, I'm gonna be a grandpa. <laughs> we were just all so happy. And then I started telling my friends, I was, like, texting them pictures of, like, the test like all my closest friends and they were all in shock they were like I can't believe this like is this real like is this a joke and I was like no it's real and they were like oh my gosh like I'm so excited I'm gonna be an auntie and I'm just really blessed that everyone was seriously so supportive I couldn't be happier I couldn't be more excited and neither could Alex like now I am 10 weeks two days today uh, which pregnancy update will be coming um, when I turn 11 weeks on Friday. I will film it and get it up as soon as possible. I might film it on Thursday actually, so yeah. Um, but yeah, we're so excited and everybody's excited for us and that makes me really happy. 
and by the way I seriously took like a million tests after that like I just had to keep peeing on tests and like seeing the line come up and seeing like the progression of it getting darker and <laughs> Yeah, I was like crazy, honestly. I just like had to keep on seeing it. So I was just like buying tests. I probably spent so much money on tests, but I just felt like I needed to, okay? I don't have to justify myself. So I'm gonna explain now the reason why um, my ovulation tests weren't becoming positive and how I ended up actually getting pregnant. So I kind of talked about this in my last pregnancy update. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, it's my weeks four through seven. So we found out that um, when I went to my first ultrasound, I realized that I had only been like nine days past ovulation when I found out, which is why the test was so light. So my period was eight days late, right? So that means that I ovulated one or two days before my period started and magically somehow my body just decided to not have a period, like have a super late period to the point where the embryo had time to go down into my uterus and implant. So I don't know how that happens, this baby is like a miracle, like that is insane to me I don't know like my mind is still like how did that even happen like I really just thought I didn't ovulate but I just somehow had an irregular ovulation where I ovulated right <clears throat> my throat just cracked in my impurity I don't know ovulated right before my period and normally what would happen is the embryo wouldn't have time to implant before you shed your lining so you would just shed the embryo too, like it wouldn't be able to implant making you pregnant. Um, but somehow I just didn't have my period long enough to where the baby had time to implant. Like that is crazy to me. I don't know. Yeah. And I found out super early, like thinking that I was finding out late, like my period's eight days late, like holy crap, that's a long time. But really I had just gotten pregnant. Um, and that also explains why I was so tired like that whole week because the baby was like implanting and like my body was like working hard. So yeah, that's crazy. But anyways, that's pretty much all for this video. My next video will obviously be my update video, um, my pregnancy update, bump date, whatever you want to call it. Um, that will be up later this week. And uh, follow me on my social media if you guys want to see pictures of my belly when it starts growing. I think pretty soon I'm going to start posting pictures of my belly so um, Instagram can also see the progression. Also, I've put up a picture of our first ultrasound um, when we first actually saw the baby. There's a video of the baby's heartbeat on there um, with a Doppler. So... Yeah, go check out my Instagram and follow me if you guys are interested in that. Also, I tweet a lot of things about my pregnancy and things I'm going through. So I will have all my social media on my end card right in a second. I will see you guys in my next video. Let me down. Don't let me down.